think the first time that I came to the Cannes Film Festival, c'était en 1963. J'étais mariée avec Roger Badim. I don't remember why we were here. I don't think, I'm not sure that we were presenting a film. But in those days, um, it wasn't dans le palais comme maintenant, c'était dans un autre cinéma. What was so stunning to me was all these photographers. I was very young, medium young, not so very young. You know, the, the, the foule, quoi. Il y avait tellement de gens et des photographes. Et, and then the steps that went up to the, to the theater. That's, and then I remember, um, yeah, Bardot was there, Brigitte Bardot, who had been married to my husband before me. <laughs> so that was interesting, and we were friends. But then I think the next time after that that I came was with my own film. It was called Le Retour, Coming Home with John Voight and Bruce Dern, Hal Ashby directed, uh, Jerry Hellman produced, I also produced with my partner. And um, I just remember that having, and the film meant so much to me. It was about veterans coming home from Vietnam. And it was a film that I had worked hard on for a long time, the story. And so it was a very special time for me that the film was was being shown here. Other memorable things, I've presented the, the Palme d'Or three times to, the first one was for Sex, Like, Lies and Videotapes that Steven Soderbergh won. He was a, yeah, it was his first movie. He was very young. Oh, that was very exciting. And then a, 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 a director that won for best film for a movie about abortion. And he came from an Eastern European country. And I can't remember that the name of the, movie had numbers in it. I can't remember what it was, but he was very young and so excited. So that, that you know, and tonight I'm presenting the Blum Dog again. This will be the third or fourth time that I've, that I've done that. And, and that's always exciting. I think one big change now is in those days, in the 60s and 70s, there were never any women directors in the competition. This time there are seven. It's historic and it's very, very important because, you know, we, we, we experience life differently. War, poverty, violence, we, women experience that differently. And if you, if our narratives don't end up on the big screen alongside men's, then the world loses half the picture. You're only getting half the story. So I, I just am so excited about the fact that women are starting to be recognized as directors. And last night, you know, I'm here working for L'Oréal. I've been an ambassador for L'Oréal for 15 years. And for three years, they've started a program called Lights on Women. And I went last night for the first time. 16 young women filmmakers make short films, court métrage, set à, à 10 minutes, plus ou moins. So hard to make a short movie. You know, it's like haiku, it's very hard. Harder than maybe a whole movie. Anyway, they get a chance to be lifted up and seen and recognized. It's fabulous. It's wonderful. Anyway, I'm, I'm very, very optimistic and enthusiastic about what's happening with women in cinema.